Game Changers Season 1, The World of Aviation. For this first episode, I chose the Pratt & Whitney JT-8D, a jet engine that changed the world of aviation and evolved it into the amazing industry that we know today. Before we begin, I humbly ask you to like, share and subscribe. It will really help this channel grow and enable me to keep bringing you quality content. Anyway guys, back to this jet engine. The jt -AD was developed concurrently with the Boeing 727. It is a low bypass turbofan developed from the J-52, a military jet power plant. Now it was 1960 and Pratt & Whitney needed a customer, and so they went to Boeing. The 727 was supposed to have Allison AR-963 engines, which are licensed Rolls Royces, but that's British, and in 1960s America, that was simply unacceptable. And so Pratt & Whitney took over the contract, and their engine was actually better. It was more powerful and more fuel efficient. So in February 1963, the JT-8D was shown off along with the 727, and let us just say it worked, and it worked well. It was so good that it was almost the sole power plant on the 727, and I'm sure the aircraft design limitation had nothing to do with that. Okay, let us be serious. The JT-80 is a game changer because of what else it powered. The McDonnell Douglas DC-9 was launched with the JT-80, and the developed MD-80 series remains in service with them today, although they are being phased out. The Boeing 737 original or Jurassic series, including the Dash 100 and 200, was also launched with the JT-80. Now these were replaced due to fuel price increases in the 1970s and to build larger aircraft. The JT-80 even made it into Europe, France to be specific. The Sud Aviation Caravelle featured these engines as one of the options on later models. Also, the Dassault Mercure Contender with the 737 had these power plants. They were even used to upgrade some Boeing 707s, even with many newer options available. So what made this such a special power plant? The main feature is the reliability. This is a simple engine, that is in terms of jet engines, because there's nothing simple about them. They have a remarkably low failure rate, and when they do fail, they are easy to fix thanks to this simplicity. Unless, of course, they explode because there is no salvaging of that particular engine. Well, we are nearing the end of my script writing capabilities, but there is one last point I want to make. Game changers usually leave a legacy, and the legacy left behind the JT-80 is amazing. Not to mention that they are still in some sort of production, with upgrade programs constantly running. These 1960s engines are within and in fact certain models exceed current standards regarding fuel consumption and exhaust contents. Even some new aircraft have the option of using JT-8Ds, most notably the Aeron SBJ supersonic jet. This is still a concept in development, but it shows the trust that the industry has in this engine. This is a true icon, and I'm sure it will always be remembered that way. The slim look and extraordinary sound is still heard today, although sadly less and less. If you get the chance, catch a jet with JT-80s. You will surely be thrown safely and comfortably. A quick note though, they are slightly louder than most modern engines. Anyway guys, that is all I have for you today. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.